Hey there, it's Christina. I saw a question in our Kajabi Facebook group asking how to put a call to action button inside of an email. So I thought I'd do a short video tutorial to show you how. So I'm in the back end of Kajabi, obviously here. So you want to go over to the left in the menu on the left under marketing, click marketing, and then under there, click email campaigns. And then go over here to the top right corner, click the blue button to, to add a new email campaign. And we're gonna do an email broadcast. And this right here is just an internal title. And I'm gonna do test. This is how you keep track of things internally back here when things, after you get a lot of emails, you're gonna to wanna to be able to identify them. So, um, and then the next step is for you to add the, the specify the recipients. So um, since this is a broadcast, it's going, going to go out to everybody. If you did want to filter, you would do that here. Since this is a demo, I'm just going to hit uh, the uh, Save and Continue button right here to go to the next step. So here is your email. Again, this is the internal title right here that nobody else sees. This is just for you. And then here is the subject line, which the recipient will see. And um, this will impact your open rates, too. So this is like the first part of copywriting your is like analogous to a headline so you know you put your um subject line there and then here is the body and this is where um you wanted to add a call to action like you have some text and then you have a call to action you can put it as a text link but it looks prettier to to, to, to do a button so let's do that and i'm just gonna um maybe right here um here is the link to schedule a call with me. All right, so there's some icons right here. You want to hit the one uh, that has a plus sign to insert a button. And then this um, pop-up will pop up and you want to configure the button. So this is the target URL when they click the button, the CTA button, where they're going to go. I'm just going to put, uh, well, actually, I don't know what that is. Oh, that was a, another one of my Loom videos. Let's, um, let's use Kajabi. Let's just use this Kajabi URL. Okay. And the text to display, um, let's see. Um, this is the text that will display on the button. And you really want to use, like, um, it's called camel case. Uh, the, the first letter of each word is capitalized, so it really looks nice. You always want these to open up in a new window. It's just really good practice so that, you know, it'll open up in a new tab. And then you want to select the background color for the button. You don't want to leave it black. And you don't want it really red either because red means stop subliminally. So you don't want them to stop. You want them to go. So this has this rainbow uh, slider is vertical and you can just um, pick a color. You can slide this up and down. And then when you get into a color that you want, like maybe here, then you can move your cursor into here and you can move around in here to pick the exact shade. The, um, the button, uh, the text on the button is going to be white. So for a nice contrast, you probably want to go with a darker shade of, I want to go with a darker shade of blue. That's pretty nice. And that's all. Then you hit OK to save that. And there's your button. OK. And um, you could do the same thing like um, let's do another one just for a little repetition. Here uh, is the link or click the link. Let me give them a call to action. Click the button below to down with and then whatever the title of your PDF is. Okay. Click the button, add a button. <laughs> okay. 
URL, we're going to um, just have it go to Kajabi website. And this one, download, whoops, download. Open it up in a new window. Let's make this one green. And hit OK. All right, so that's what it looks like. And um, in the subject line, Okay, so um, then hit continue, I mean, save and continue. And it'll take you to this next page where you can preview it here. But this is just a preview. These buttons are not clickable. So in order to actually see it, how the um, recipient's going to see it, you have to send yourself a preview. And sometimes people don't see this up here, but right up here, just send a preview. And it, Kajabi will send um, a preview of this email to whatever your um, email is as the account holder, as the software um, owner here of Kajabi. So whatever email you have configured, this is going to go to my um, Gmail account. should be right here right now. All right, where is it? Maybe it's under social. No. It's taking a little bit of time. Where is it? Make sure it didn't go here. Oh, look at that, guys. I went into my promotions tab. Oh, you know why? Oh, this is actually good. This is incidental, but it's good. It went into my promotions tab under Gmail. And the reason why is because it has free in the, in the subject line. You don't want to do that. Okay. You see what just happened? You want this to end up in people's um, uh, primary tab. And you don't want it to go in the promotional tab because it would be hidden. And you don't want it to go in the spam folder either. So since it had free in the subject line, don't do that. But anyway, we want to preview it. So here's what it looks like. Here's the link to schedule a call with me. And we just made it go to the Kajabi site. It opened up in a new tab, a new window. Okay, I'm going to test it out before you send these to um, your entire list. And here's the other one. Okay, so everything's working. You just uh, want to make sure you do not use free in your subject line. And you'll also see here, I know sometimes people have question. Um, I haven't changed mine yet, so unless you change the um, marketing email, the sender is going to have this really interesting <laughs> Kajabi uh, email. So you definitely want this to be like on... Um, support at your company or your name so like for me it's creating digital assets.com so it would be christina at creating digital assets.com or support at creating digital assets.com or something like that all right so that's how you do it and um hope this video helped and i'll see you in the group